Good afternoon, how are we getting on? So, the reason why I'm coming on today is to explain further on from my chat we had during the week about uh, doing the running online coaching that I provided for people uh, coming into the winter. And I suppose today I want to elaborate in a more, I suppose, the pros and cons of training in the winter. Yes, that one big word, the winter time. Put on the fire, throw a bucket of water over it because we don't need the fire, is what I'm trying to say. So, Training in the winter, I suppose, there is pros and there is cons. I suppose the pros, I'm going to say, first of all, you do feel better. 110% you feel better in a person. As a person, as an individual, you feel much better in you because you're getting out there, you're doing what you've been doing throughout the year, i.e. the summer, the blue skies, the sun beaming down, the fact are 50. All of a sudden now it's winter. People think, okay, well, the con part is going to start kicking into my head. It's winter. Put on the fire. Put on the radiator. Give me a duvet. Put on 50 layers of jumpers. Let's put a hat on. This is all indoors. This is before I even get the hall door to go outside to the real open, you know, the real world. So what I'm trying to say today is keep up your training. Keep doing what you're doing. Just because it's coming into November, December, January, February, March, the cold time of the year, this is what will make you stronger. So the pros of that is, you're going to feel better, you're going to stay sharper, you're going to you're going to have a better mindset, you're going to feel a much better, I suppose, capabilities in yourself of what you're doing and why you're doing it, because I suppose the cons to that is, the, you know, if you stop training or pull back so much in the winter, the mind starts to become weaker, you know, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, for some people they might just want to do that and that's who they are, but what I'm trying to say is, I'm not saying it's necessarily a terrible thing, but it's not what I believe in. And that's why the training I provide with people, the online run coaching that I'm providing for people to come and join me throughout the winter, I think the winter is the best time to progress and better yourself as a person because come February, March, April, when the boards come out on nests and all of a sudden nature blossoms, you're already one step ahead of the game. Why? Because the dark evenings, those rainy nights, you put the work in. Yes, there's no crowd there. Yes, there's no show. There's no circus. There's no LED lights. You know, like, lads, block off the roads. Look what's going on here. It's not like that. Yes, it is a dark place. Yes, it's dull. There's no one around. The streets are empty. But that's what I'm trying to say to you. It makes you a better person because mentally you're stronger. You've been putting the work in without the whole, you know, July the 4th, Factor 50 job as I keep going on about and I will continue to because I think it's a very, very slick line that I use. So, as I was trying to say to you, if you have goals, keep them up. That's a simple thing. I'm not coming on here to be like, you know, Dr. Phil. Right, lads, take five of these a day, you up the high five, and all of a sudden you become a better person. I'm not. I'm just saying from experience, the past few years, say the past eight, nine, ten years even, I've been doing it. I find winter is a better source to become a better athlete and a better person, mentally and physically. You up the muscles, not that I have any, but you know what I mean? I mean in there. It just it puts you on a better stead, a better path to achieve and say, do you know what? Next year is going to be something for me or I'm going to aim for something, but the work starts now. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, I suppose, get into people's mindsets. So there is pros, yes. You know, you're going to feel better. You're going to stay sharp. The mind is going to come stronger. You're not falling back on things you've set your, you know, set your mind on doing in the future. And your goals are realistic. Now, the cons, as I said, is basically... You're going to become almost hibernate, hibernating yourself. You're going to go back into a weaker mindset. You're going to go back into a state of, I oh, know I've done the hard work. It's done now. You know, summer's over. Put the feet up and we'll start back again next year. But then you're going basically, you're going around in circles. So what you've done the past four, five, six months to yourself, to better yourself, is now starting to fall back bit by bit by bit without you even realising it because you're in a happy state of mind, remember? So this is just me coming on saying, listen, just keep up doing what you're doing. Simple as. Yup.